logic is in the way this pooling method works. Pooling is basically taking the samples of several people and testing them together, but with the ability to get the results of the tested pools and point to the infected people that were originally tested. The problem in such, a, in such an approach is that it involves two stages of testing. Okay? First, you, you uh, test the pools, and once you get a positive pool, you go and test each of the individuals uh, that participated in this pool. What we do is something completely different. We do a single stage of testing. The magic is in the way this pooling method works, and that is that you mix the samples into multiple pools, you test those pools, and then after looking at the results of the pools only, you can identify the individual carriers without needing to go back to individual samples and test them. That on its own is something that people don't find intuitive, and there's, so to speak, magic in that. Uh, really, there's no magic, it's just the math. And, and, and you know, the math is basically about uh, having a specific pattern uh, that each sample is, you know, generates across the pools that allows you to ident identify that individual when you look at the results of the pools. So in the same number of kits, to analyze 1,000 people, we can an analyze 8,000 people. And that's actually a very big advantage. This is where the magic happens. Uh, here, uh, you have this uh, liquid dispensing pipetting arm that basically knows how to take samples, which are in these strips that you see here, and then basically mix them with other samples. See, this is the machine that generates the pool that we then later on send to diagnostic testing. We can apply this quote-unquote trick in, in, the, in any lab throughout the world. Uh, our motivation from the get-go has been to uh, make a change or to, uh, to, to have an impact. And I think uh, now we're at a point where we feel that there might be a chance that we actually will make an impact. Science that I'm doing may help society, not just in Israel, uh, but throughout the world, regain its livelihood.